this week I'm going to be covering the last minute tip strategy. This is an actual lesson in the curriculum. Um, if you have the curriculum, it is lesson 85 and it is called last minute tip strategy. So going over this real quick, um, basically I'm sure you have noticed some students, if not many, are having trouble finishing their essay in about 120 minutes. And unfortunately, that's all the time they get. But one of the pieces I want to point out, and this is a real critical piece, is that in order to score a four out of four in purpose, focus, and organization, the students have to have a satisfying introduction, a middle, and a satisfying conclusion. Okay, this is key to having that satisfying conclusion, which means if they do not have a conclusion, they're going to lose a point or more in purpose, focus, and organization. So at the very least, we need to make sure they have that satisfying conclusion, which if you heard my videos before I use the curriculum, you know a satisfying conclusion is three to four sentences that bring back those main topics that we're discussing in the essay. So here's the thing about test day. We kind of have to pre-train the kiddos before test day um, what they're going to hear on test day and how to use this last minute strategy because there's not much you can say on test day besides good job, keep on working, way to go, uh, little bits of encouragement. So this is why it's important to go over this strategy with them. So on test day, students are basically only going to hear from you, start, you have 10 minutes left, and stop. This strategy teaches them when they hear that there's 10 minutes left, they need to, wherever they are in their essay, write two to three more sentences. Then they're gonna skip, I'm gonna say three to five lines. And then they're gonna start their conclusion. Okay, then if they finish their conclusion before that 10 minutes is up, they can go back and finish that T3 or wherever they are. Okay, so just kind of looking at a visual here, this is the example that's from the curriculum. This is an essay on alligators. And let's say that the student is about right here. You can see, um, let's pretend they've been writing, they have their topic sentence, they have all their A's, and they they're only have a little bit of their B's. So they're about halfway through their T3 paragraph. And let's say they hear, you now have 10 minutes left. The student needs to write two to three more sentences, okay? two to three more sentences, let's say. And once they have those, let's say they fill up these lines with two to three sentences, period, then they just skip a few lines, one, two, three, and start their conclusion. And go straight into that and write a full and satisfying three to four sentence conclusion, okay? Then if they get done with their conclusion, and there's still time left, they can go back up here because they've left this space and finish that T3 paragraph. Or if they don't run out of time, at least they have half of a T3 and a whole conclusion. Nowhere does it say you have to have full T1, full T2, full T3. As long as you have a middle of some sort, you're okay. Um, and we're putting three middle paragraphs, so it's even more than enough. But it does say satisfying conclusion. That's why this strategy is so important, because a lot of kids are going to run into this issue. And I would rather them have a smaller T3 with a full, complete, satisfying conclusion than a perfectly long, full of evidence T3 with no conclusion, because that's an automatic loss of points just by not having that satisfying conclusion. So again, you kind of have to teach and train this strategy, practice it. If you have the lesson, it's a perfect time to practice. Have them pretend they're in the middle of T3 and then do a little drill where you say, okay, you have 10 minutes left and have them write two more sentences, skip three to five lines, and then jump to the conclusion. Here's what I do not want. You got to be careful with this. Some kids will um, write, this up a little, they'll write their uh, two more sentences, let's say. And then I'll skip all the way to the bottom down here and put in conclusion. And they'll write their conclusion. I don't want that. I don't want this much space. That's obvious we taught them this strategy. I don't want it to be obvious. What I want them to do is I'm going to say skip three lines to be safe. So you put, let's say they write their two more sentences, done. 
then they're going to skip three lines, one, two, three, and go right into their conclusion. In conclusion. And they'll write their conclusion. Okay, and like I said, if they have time, they'll go back up. So make sure you practice this strategy with them. Make sure they're good at it because this is one that can save a lot of students from losing a point just for not having that satisfying conclusion. If you have any other questions, feel free to email me. You can always go to our website, www.topscorewriting.com, to find our email, our contact information, and uh, lots of sample lessons and information for you to explore on there as well. Have a wonderful day.